Angular 10 is released a few days ago. Today we're going to be looking at what are the new changes coming with the new Angular 10 release. Let's get started. Before we begin, if you are not subscribed to the Okta Academy channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Angular team has released their new version Angular 10 on 25th of June 2020. This Angular 10 version was released within 4 months of period of Angular 9 release. So this is a small and quick major update that we got from Angular team compared to other Angular version releases like Angular 6, 7 and 8. So this is a major release that spans the entire platform including the Angular framework, Angular material and the Angular CLI. First let's update the Angular CLI then we'll see what are the noticeable changes that we got from Angular 10. Alright open the command prompt or the terminal. To update the Angular CLI run the same command that we use to Angular CLI install on our computer. So npm install dash g at angular slash CLI. If you are on a Mac, don't forget to add the sudo beginning of this command. Alright, run this command. Perfect. Angular CLI is updated. Let's check the version of the Angular. We can check that using the command ng version. As you can see here, Angular CLI version updated to the version 9 to 10.0.3. The first major update that we can see in Angular is that optional strict mod. The Angular 10 offers a more strict project setup when we creating a new workspace with ng new command using the Angular CLI. Usually we create a new Angular app using the ng new Angular CLI command. In Angular 10 we have this strict optional flag. What this will do is actually this will do a few things. First one is uh, this will enable strict mod in TypeScript. This will prevent the declaration of type any in TypeScript. Let's see this in action. First let's create a new Angular 10 project. For that first ng new and add this strict flag double dash strict and hit enter. Uh, give the project name as Angular 10. Give yes to this and select CSS as our styling method and hit enter. Once this new Angular project setup completed, open the Angular 10 new project folder inside the Visual Studio code. If you see this carefully, in the file structure, we can see three major things in here. This new file tsconfig.base.json file and this .browsers list src file and we can see another package.json file located inside the app folder. Addition to this main package.json file. We'll come to this in a moment. First let's look at the type any restriction in TypeScript. First let's run the app inside the integrated terminal ng serve and hit the enter. After this compiled go to this URL. In default Angular 10 landing page we cannot see any new changes. Next go to the app component ts file and create a variable f double o and give the variable type as any. Save this. Now we can see this warning. Inside this problem tab, we can see this warning that saying type declaration of any losses type safety. Consider replacing it with a more precise type. What this saying is don't put any as a variable type that is no good for the safety. If we change this any to object, the warning is had disappeared. This is a good practice, right? I know every one of us, including me, used this type any in case if, if we cannot find the type of variable output. 
in that case we can disable this no any restriction so go to the tslint.json file and find this no any in order to disable this restriction change this true to false save this now back to the app component is file and give this variable type as any uh, this time we don't get that warning message in my opinion angular team has given this typescript variable type any restriction mod for a reason so try to stick with that sometimes it's a bit difficult but if you used to do it it's gonna be very easy and it will be a good practice all right like previous typescript strict mod this strict mod turns template type checking to strict so this strict flag give us some more ability to handle the bugs and we can improve the code maintainability and also this strict mod reduce the default bundle budget by 75 percentage uh, inside the angular.json file search for the budget as you can see here now maximum warning for bundle is 500 kb and the maximum error is 1 mb so what this will do is give a warning when the budget bundle is increased more than 500 kilobytes so this will make us awareness of our angular 10 project bundle size so in the previous version of angular uh, this maximum warning is 2 mb so in angular 10 this is reduced by 75 percentage this is a really big update that i am seeing in this angular 10 update if you can remember we have this strange package.json file inside the app folder we are getting this file cause of this strict flag so this will configure our angular 10 app as side defect free we can enable this side defect from this line next we have this new file tsconfig.base.json this is a additional tsconfig.json file for better supports the way that IDEs and building tools resolve type and package configurations inside this we can see base url config output directory strict mod configurations etc etc if you noticed here when we compiling the angular project which is only compiling this file to esm 2015 which is ecmascript module in angular 9 uh, these files will compile to both ECMAScript 5 and ECMAScript module. The ESM files are small comparing to the ES files. And ESM files are mostly supports with modern common browsers but as usual not with the IE11 or IE9. Because of this in Angular 10 they have dropped support for the Internet Explorer. In my opinion this is a uh, huge step for angular with the ecmascript module files we can speed up our angular applications this is 2020 right i don't think most of people nowadays don't use the internet explorer browser anymore still if we want to support our app to internet explorer browser we can configure that with this new default browser configuration file the next major update that we can see is these ecosystem updates as usual they have updated the typescript version to typescript 3.9 tslib has been updated to version 2.0 and also tslint has been updated to version 6 now let's do a production build inside the integrated terminal ng build double dash prod and hit the enter after this completed we can see this dist folder inside that if you noticed we can see less files than the previous angular 9 production app files now we are getting the ecmascript 2015 module files only not the ecmascript files so this is reducing the our final production app size 75 percentage less than the previous angular versions 
the last but not least with the angular 10 major release angular material has released the new date ranged picker i love this because most of the angular developers definitely using the angular material library in their big projects in every angular apps we have to generate reports for that we need date range pickers in previous in my opinion i had a very bad time with the angular material because of this date range picker when i saw this update i was like very happy to use the new date range picker you can use the mat dash date dash range dash input and mat dash date dash range dash picker components with this new angular material date range picker we can select dates range between two time periods you guys can update your existing angular 9 projects to angular 10 using this command ng update at angular dash cli at angular dash co so these are the major noticeable changes in angular 10 this is not a big update but in angular 10 they have did a very good job on bundle size and the debugging side with this new strict mod this is it guys this is the end of this angular 10 new update video hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed it please hit the like button and leave a comment what you thinking about the new angular 10 version and also if anyone not subscribed to the octa academy please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon we'll meet with another awesome video like this until then learn smart not hard